Hi everyone, welcome back. So today is a very different video. First of all, I'm on a different camera. So this is my first time using this camera. It's a smaller little like vlogging camera that I have and I finally got around to trying it today. So I'm sorry if anything looks off. I really don't know how to use it. I'm just kind of trying to figure it out as we go. But for today, what I wanted to do is I need to pack my travel makeup bag. So I am actually going to Florida tomorrow. Well, we're going halfway tomorrow and the next half the next day. So we're going to my in-laws tomorrow to take Cosmo, our dog, and then Monday we will be going to Florida, to Disney World. So we have to pack this bag and I have made a rule for myself that I am only taking makeup that fits in this bag. I am not taking any more makeup than what fits in this bag. So you guys have to hold me accountable because every time I say I'm gonna do this, when it comes down to packing my makeup, I don't do it and then I end up with two pounds of makeup and I don't need it. I don't need to take that much with me and I definitely don't need that much if I'm going to Florida. Florida is hot and humid. You can only look so cute at Disney World, let's just be real. So everything I'm taking makeup wise is gonna fit in here, period. So I figured I would go through my makeup collection with you and we could pack this bag. I just got this bag off Amazon. It's really cute actually, but it um, zips like this, kind of zips diagonally but then it has a little handle, which is super cute. So we're gonna go through and pick out some makeup. And if you're new here, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you'll subscribe and let's get started. Let's get into it. So we'll start with primer and just kind of go from there. And I'm gonna have to be choosy here, guys. Okay. So the first thing I know I want to take is this. This is the Say Glowy Super Gel. And normally I would say I don't need something glowy to take to Florida, but I am going to take this because it's the Sun Glow version, which is the bronze version. And I am self-tanned right now, other than my face. So some of my things are probably going to be a little bit light on me in comparison to my body. So I think I do want to take that. I'm also going to take this just because it's Florida and anything that helps my makeup stay on my face is probably a good idea. So I'm going to take this for foundation. I'm thinking unless I just cannot fit it in there, I'm going to take two. I'm going to take a tinted moisturizer and a foundation because one tinted moisturizer I would wear during the day actual foundation I may wear at night when we go out to dinner. So, all right, so we have NARS Tinted Moisturizer, Iconic London, Estee Lauder Double Wear. I think it definitely needs to be one with SPF. So honestly, it probably needs to be one of these two. And both of these are pretty new to me. I guess I'll do NARS because it has more SPF in it. I'm gonna wear SPF underneath, obviously, but Double Wear has SPF 19, this one has SPF 30. So I'm gonna go with NARS on that. And then for an actual foundation, I really wanna take NARS Light Reflecting, but I feel like I always take that, so I kinda wanna take something a little bit different. You know what I could take, because I feel like it'll match me right now, is Hourglass Soft Glow. This is a darker foundation, and I definitely need something a little bit on the darker side, um, just because my body is much more tan now. So I'm gonna, it's either gonna be this one, or House Labs. I'm not sure which one. I think Hourglass is probably, a better shade match, I think, but I'm gonna pull them both out because it's gonna be one or the other. For concealer and corrector, I kinda think for concealer, we're gonna do Shiseido. This has been such a 
favorite for me lately. It's very long wearing. It doesn't require powder, honestly. And it's really great coverage. I'm thinking this one, I honestly kind of want to use Charlotte Tilbury. Also, I'm going to take it out and then I'll choose one or the other. And then for a color corrector, hmm, I am thinking, I think I want to do Bobbi Brown, the stick corrector. This is just, it never misses for me. So I think, and it's very lightweight and thin too. So that's what I'm thinking for corrector. And I think that'll be good. Okay, I'm thinking I'm going to skip highlighter. I probably won't use it even if I do take it. So I'm just going to pick a powder. You know, I, I might just take this because it's mini and I like it. It's just the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Honestly, that's probably the easiest thing to do. I'm going to say we'll do that and that won't take up a lot of room. So that should be good. This is what I'm avoiding because I don't want to pick. It, it is nearly impossible for me to pick from this drawer. <laughs> Blush and bronzer, that's just so hard. Okay, honestly, I kind of want to take this. This is just like, I've talked about this so many times, but Petal from Westman Atelier. I really want to take this one. It's super heavy though. <laughs> oh, and I'm trying to get everything in that bag, but I just love, I love this blush. I kind of want to take this and either the House Labs because it's more matte, or this one, the Armani blush in this rosy color, I think would pair really well with Petal. You know what, maybe we'll go with Armani, because these two, I just feel like Petal and shade 51 are gonna be good. Okay, we're gonna go with that. And for a bronzer, I'm thinking maybe I'll take the Makeup by Mario bronzer, the powder bronzer. And I feel like this will be a good shade too. It's light medium, it's warm, but not super warm. This is a really good formula too. So I might take that and then, oh my gosh, you know what else? I have to stick this in, I think, because <laughs> first of all, it's mini, which is good because it saves space, but I'm obsessed with it still. Yeah. This is also gonna go. This is the Mini Westman Atelier Face Tray Stick in Biscuit. And okay, we're just gonna stop there and close this drawer because otherwise I'm gonna sit here and think too hard about what I'm taking. So <laughs> that's good. Moving on to brows and mascara and then all my single shadows. Okay, I am thinking I wanna take this from Rare Beauty. I'm obsessed with this thing. It's really easy to use, very natural looking. I just love it. I don't see myself not using this like ever. That's how much I love it. So that is gonna go. And then I kinda wanna just take a normal brow gel or like a clear brow type product with me. So I'll probably just take this one from Benefit. And let's see, I'll probably stick a brow pencil in just to have one. So I'm gonna stick this NYX micro brow in. And that's it for brows. I think I might take Makeup by Mario in um, the perfect brown for my waterline in case I want that. For mascara. Um, I kind of want to take this because it's the waterproof mascara that I have. The Maybelline Lash Sensational in Black Brown. I think I might do this because when it's hot and you're outside all day, your mascara tends to want to smudge. So I think I'll do that just to be safe with it being waterproof. For an eye primer. I honestly think I'm just gonna stick this Sigma shadow stick in. Even if I don't wear eyeshadow, I like to have this just to kind of even out my eyelids a little. So that I will take. 
Oh my gosh, this is, <laughs> this is so hard. I am the worst, I'm telling you, at packing. I'm bad at packing in general, but then when you try to pack makeup with me, it's just, I'm not good at it. I'm just not good at it. Okay, let's, I'm gonna let myself pick two lip liners. I am gonna take this one because y'all know me and this Pat McGrath structure. It's my favorite. It goes with everything. I love it. So that's gonna be one. And then, okay, it's either gonna be Nude Truffle from NYX or Essence Cinnamon Spice. These are both more of a nude color lip liner instead of structure. Structure is more of like a rosy color. Honestly, the Essence one lasts a really long time. I think I'm gonna take Essence. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take Essence. Okay, don't overthink it, Blair. Just pick and move on. I wanna take a lip oil, and I think I'm gonna take this one, this NYX Fat, <laughs> what is the name of this? Fat Oil Lip Drip? I don't know, but I love it. This Mist Call color is a really pretty pink. I think I'm gonna put that in. I don't ever not take one of these. The Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Serums. This is in Petal Glow, which is a really pretty pink. We'll take one of those. And then I think for an actual lipstick, I'm gonna take MAC. Thanks, it's MAC. This has been my favorite lipstick really recently. It's a glossier, shiny lipstick, but it goes with everything. I love it, so I think that's it. And eyeshadow palettes. What should we take? Obviously, I don't want something super large to have to take around with me. I don't need something with a ton of Voices. I also have this that's really cute, the NARS um, Orgasm Palette, which this might be a good one. Yeah, should we take this? I'm kind of feeling that. Let's do that. And really, I don't need any other eyeshadow, you guys. I can use my bronzer as eyeshadow, and I'm not going to be wearing a ton anyway. Now, let's see if we can fit this stuff in the bag and then we will go from there. Oh my gosh, you guys, I think I, I think I did it. If I did this on the first try, I'm gonna be really impressed with myself. Let's see if it, zips. I think it should. I've got a lot of stuff like on the base down here. Look at that you guys. How impressive. Okay so I just went through this again. I decided I put the Hourglass foundation and the House Labs in and I realized I had both. I'm gonna stick with this one. I feel like the Hourglass I kind of need to mix some of my color mixing shades in with that one to get it right. I think House Labs and what I have now, which is 160, is going to be pretty good. So I think we're just going to go with that. And then kind of had a change of heart with the NARS Tinted Moisturizer. I'm trying to use this one up, the Tower 28, because it expires soon. NARS is really new to me, so I think I might take this instead. And then I'm also gonna stick this in because I have room and because I love it. The only thing about this is it doesn't have SPF, which kind of stinks, but I'm gonna stick it in and maybe use it. And the other thing I realized, I don't have a setting spray in here and the only mini one that I have is this Rare Beauty one. So that is also gonna go. I know we haven't done brushes. Brushes are not gonna fit in here, so I'm gonna have to find another bag to stick those in. So let me go get that and we'll do my brushes too. Okay, so I'm gonna put my brushes in this little thing. This is a little makeup bag I made in New York City a few years ago and I 
customized it and I put my channel name on it. I love it so much. So I'm gonna use this for brushes. Okay, I'm again gonna try to keep this very minimal. We're gonna do the 106 from BK Beauty. Obviously, it's my favorite, most used foundation brush. I can also use it for cream, bronzer, and blush too. For um, a concealer brush, I'm gonna take the 110. This is the larger concealer brush, kind of like they describe it as a brush and a sponge, kind of all in one, but I really like it for concealer. So I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take one powder brush. I'm gonna take the 55 from Sephora. I'm gonna take these eyeshadow brushes. So I have the 210, which is a little pencil brush. It's good for smudging eyeliner or applying shadow to your lower lash line. So I'm gonna take that. This is like an all-in-one, the 212. I can use this for the crease, outer corner, lid, whatever. So really good brush. The MAC 217, I pretty much always take this brush with me. I love to use it for cream shadows, but I also love to use this for an eye primer on my lid. This brush in particular works really well for that. And then I never go anywhere without the 208 from BK Beauty, this little tiny angled brush. I need to order another one of these actually because I mine I've had for a few years and it's just time to get another one, but I never leave home without that. And then I might also stick this brush in, the 109 from BK Beauty. I love this for cream bronzer and blush as well. And if I don't wanna mix those with my foundation brush, which is the 106, I can use that instead. All right, and then I'm also gonna stick my face facial sunscreen in. I'm gonna take this one, the Madagascar, Centella Hyalucica Water Fit Sun Serum SPF 50. I like this. I actually wanted to take the Beauty of Josian one. I ordered a new one a few days ago on Amazon. I thought it was going to come in time, but apparently it's not. So I'll take this instead. We'll stick that in. I'm going to take the Bobbi Brown Eye Base as eye cream for before makeup. I'm also going to stick this in. I never really don't take this with me. My City Lips in Clear. I like to use this before I do my makeup when I'm doing my skincare. I like to put this on my lips so they are hydrated once I get to the lips. And is that everything? I think it is. I don't really need a ton of brushes or tools really. So that should be good for that. All right, you guys, so I am actually back from the trip now. I planned to put this video up while I was there the last night we were there, and I just didn't end up getting it done. I was too tired at the end of the day, so I figured I would go ahead and still put this video up, but I thought it would be fun if I kind of shared what I actually used from the makeup that I took with me and just kind of my thoughts on the things that I took. And then I did do a little bit of shopping while I was there because that's just a given for me. So I got a few things from Sephora there that I figured I would share with you. And then I also got just a few things from the cosmetics company store there, which I've talked about them before. You can buy Estee Lauder brands there. They have really discounted Estee Lauder brands of makeup there. So anyway, I figured we could kind of go through these two things as well. So I'm going to share what I actually ended up using from this makeup bag. First of all, I will say this makeup bag, one of the best purchases <laughs> I've made in a long time because it's just so much better to have a makeup bag that opens up like this so you can actually see everything. You're not constantly digging around for things. So the first thing that I am loving that I took is this makeup bag. So if you're needing a new one, highly recommend this one from Amazon. I will link it below for you. But I wanted to just kind of go through what I took with me. And 
my thoughts. So the first thing that was kind of reinforced in terms of my love for it on this trip is this primer. So the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, I know everybody talks about this, either this one or the e.l.f. Power Grip. I like them both, but I've said in previous videos and I still stand by this. This, if you need your makeup to last, I have yet to find anything that holds my makeup in place like this does. When I was in Florida, I didn't really think about this beforehand, but it's a perfect time to test something like this to see if it actually works. And it does. You guys, if you've been to Florida before, and at Disney in particular, you'll know it is hot, it is humid, you are walking a lot, you are outside. I was taking sunglasses on and off. It's a lot. So anything that can help make your base lasts longer is a necessity there and this is that this was the MV, one of the MVPs of the trip the other thing I took and I loved I really enjoyed it was this say glowy super gel but I took the star glow color which is the more bronze color just because at the start of the trip I had on like a fresh self tan and my face I don't self tan my face my face is a lot lighter than my body. So I was using this as a base um, on top of this and these two so so good. This for a little bit of color and this to kind of help grip the makeup. I really enjoyed both of those things. For uh, base products I went with these three. I think these are the three you saw in the earlier clip. I switched out a few of these things after I filmed the first part of this video but these are the three things that I took with me. So the Tower 28 Sunny Days Tinted SPF, the Fenty Ease Drop, and my House Labs. So I originally was just going to take these two, the Fenty and the House Labs. The Fenty for the day just to throw something on when I go to the parks. And then this for when we went out to dinner at nighttime. So I did take these two, but then I ended up sticking this in just because. And I actually ended up wearing this the most and I absolutely loved this you guys this from tower 28 it has SPF 30 and it gives coverage not a ton but it gives some coverage and it has extra SPF which is amazing especially in Florida I wore this pretty much every day to the park and I loved it it wore really well and anything that wears well in Florida that's saying something because the weather there is next level in terms of making your makeup last. Um, it's not easy, but with this, this worked really well for me. I wore this too, but I honestly wore the Tower 28 more just because it does have the added SPF in there. And then the House Labs foundation, honestly only wore this like maybe twice. I've only worn this once because um, I wasn't going to wear something this heavy during the day to the parks, but... This is a great foundation. The times I did wear this, I thought in my head, you know what, this is actually even better than I realized that it was. It's just, it's a very popular foundation and I liked it initially, but when I wore it on this trip, I really liked it. I don't know if it was just the combination of this with my other products that I took or not, but it lasted well, really enjoyed it. For my concealers and correctors, I used everything that I brought. In fact, I was pretty impressed with my packing job this time. I used everything for the most part that I brought, with the exception of like one or two things. But I took these, so I took the Pixie Corrector and the Bobbi Brown. The Bobbi Brown I took for basically during the day because it's a little bit of a lighter coverage than this and then I took this mainly when I was going to wear the house labs foundation great love them I love them at home but I also loved them in the heat of Florida so those were really awesome and then these two concealers you guys these were so good in the weather and the the heat there so I took these Shiseido Synchro Skin and the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. I kind of wore these interchangeably just depending on the day, but I wanted something that I knew 
could go without powder under my eyes just because I tried to keep my base makeup as light as possible and both of these wear really well on me with no powder. Um, what else? So for powders I took this which really was fantastic. I loved it. The Laura Mercier loose powder just the original one in translucent. I used this just a light coat of this pretty much every day when I was there and I really enjoyed it. I took this mainly because I had a mini size. For bronzer and uh, blush, I had a powder and a cream of each and I used them all. So I took these with me. For bronzer, I used my Westman Atelier Face Trace in the shade Biscuit. Um, I didn't use this to go to the parks really. I used it kind of later on in the day. If I was redoing my makeup at all, I would apply a little bit of this. And it was nice to travel with because this is a mini. But the one, one of the other products that I fell in love with on this trip is this one, the Makeup by Mario Powder Bronzer in Light Medium. I use this as eyeshadow and bronzer mainly pretty much every day when we went to the parks and this is a fantastic bronzer you guys it is smooth easy to apply not patchy at all very um, the formula is very silky very easy to apply I thoroughly enjoyed it I liked it before but something about when you only work out of one makeup bag for a whole week you really figure out what you love the most. Um, and then the blush, okay, this combo was, I loved it, these two. So Westman Atelier in Petal, which I talk about all the time. I love this cream blush. I also wore this on my lips quite a bit as well. And then I topped it with this. This is my favorite, I have to say, of the Armani blushes, the Luminous Silk blushes. This is shade 51, it's just a rosy pink. Loved it, and it paired really well with um, Westman Atelier. Um, for brows, oh, you guys, I also kind of fell in love with a different brow product. So I took these things with me. I took the Rare Beauty Shape and Fill Duo, which I love, and I used this a few times, but what I used and loved was actually this from Benefit. I had been using this for a while, the Fluff Up Brow Wax. You've probably seen me use this in a bunch of videos, and I'm pretty much out of it now. But this is more of like a true brow wax for your brows, which I like. But I also stuck this in, and I never used this before, the 24-hour brow setter. I think this is their original brow product. I think this has been out for quite a while. This is the newer one, but this is so... Good. I think this might be my new favorite clear brow gel because I used this in my brows in the morning and I did not touch them all day long. My brows were in the exact same position. They were in place, but they weren't stuck to my face like they can feel with brow waxes, which I really liked. So this is a new favorite for me. I took two mascaras, but I only used one of them. And this is another MVP of the trip. So I took the Maybelline Lash Sensational in the waterproof version. Didn't end up using it because I loved this one so much. This Tarte Tartlet Tubing Mascara. You guys, this is fantastic. I wore this every day, all day. My lashes did not smudge, no flaking, no transfer. They looked exactly the same at the end of the day that they did in the morning when I put this on. And I I just love this. I feel like I liked it when I tried it initially, but then something about when I took it on this trip, I realized, wow, that's a great mascara. Really like it. I don't always love tubing mascaras, but I can definitely say I am a fan of this one now. Um, for eyes. I took this palette and I only used it once. I took the NARS Orgasm Rising palette. I took this uh, mainly just for when we went out to dinner at night. We really only went to one nicer dinner and that's when I used this, but I loved it. It's a great palette. I think you can still get this one, but it's pretty, it's really nice. 
it's neutral. You get some mattes and some shimmers in here. It's a good size. It's cute packaging, not that that matters, but that is the eyeshadow palette that I took with me. And then, oh, another MVP of the trip is this. Mega by Mario um, Master Pro Pigment Pencil in the Perfect Brown. I put this in my waterline pretty much every day that we were there, even when we went to the parks. And they're not kidding you guys when they say this lasts in your waterline. I don't know how it works, but it does. This is so good. I would highly recommend everybody get one of those. And then lastly, for the lips, I wore the same lip combo all week long, and I loved it. The ColourPop Lip Liner in Oh Snap. This was actually something I tried right before we went on the trip, and I loved it so much I took it with me. This is the only lip liner I wore, and I love this so much. I love the color, but... I really love the formula on this. It's creamy, but it actually does last on your lips. So good. I love this shade. And then most days, I just put the NYX um, Lip Drip Fat Oil in Miss Call on over it, and that was my lip combo. And then sometimes I would add, before the lip oil, I would put on this lipstick, the MAC Luster Glass in Thanks It's MAC which I love, but this lip combo was perfect. Okay, now I just want to quickly show you what I ended up buying while I was down there. So I got some stuff from Sephora, obviously, but I also went to a Mac store and I went to the cosmetics company store that's nearby Disney. And I just wanted to show you the stuff that I found. So we'll start with the cosmetics company store. If you're not familiar with those, basically in a lot of outlet malls now, there are stores called the Cosmetics Company Store, and they are Estee Lauder brands, so any brand owned by Estee Lauder, so MAC, Tom Ford, Too Faced, Smashbox, all those kinds of brands have products in these stores, and they are very heavily discounted. So sometimes, depending on the time of year and the location that you go to, you'll find more than others. But I found two really cool things, I, or I think they're cool. So they had a ton of MAC brushes, and they had a ton of 217s, which this is one of my favorite brushes for cream eyeshadow. Either cream eyeshadow or like an eyeshadow base or something. I love this brush and they had these for, I think this was 50% off. Yeah, it was 50% off. So it's normally $30 and I got it for 15, which is pretty awesome. Honestly, I'm kind of regretting I, I didn't get two. I feel like I probably should have gotten two of these, but anyway, I have one and I use it all the time. So I was excited to get another one, but this is what I was most excited about. They had, a good bit of Tom Ford makeup and I got one of the shade and illuminate blushes so this is the shade number one brazen rose and these are so expensive I have looked at these before full price and I think they retail for like $90 maybe $95 they're very expensive they had one and it was actually a color that I thought I would use, so I did get it. This was, uh, let's see, 50% off. So I paid $47.50 for this. So yeah, the retail on this is $95, you guys. Very expensive. So I paid $47.50 for this. So it comes in the really cute little pouch, the Tom Ford packaging. And this is a really pretty pink duo. So you get a lighter pink and a darker pink. And I've used this a few times while I was on the trip. And I really like it. It's very light uh, pink, but the formula is very nice. It's very silky and buttery, which I do like. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it in the lighting right now, but that is it there. Um, I loved it. I was so excited to find this. I love going to those stores because you never know what you're going to find. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls, but for makeup, which is just so fun. So those are the two things that I got from 
the cosmetics company store. And then I also went to a Mac store while I was there. I have been wanting to make my own eyeshadow palette at Mac for a while, but they've been out of stock online, the little palettes that you can buy, and I don't have a Mac store near me. So I did make my own little palette, and of course, y'all won't be surprised. It's all neutral colors, but I am really excited about it. So these are the six colors that I got trying to remember them all. I think we have Naked Lunch, Malk, Wedge, Sandstone, Woodwinked, and Espresso. I'm pretty sure those are the six colors that I had. Um, I've just always wanted one of these little palettes with my own colors in it. So the days that I didn't use this NARS palette, this is what I was using. I mainly used Wedge and Sandstone together and just kind of threw that all over my eye and then I use either a little bit of Malk or Naked Lunch on my lid and that's it. But I did get this little palette and I don't know why this brings me so much joy but it does. So I got those and then I got one other thing. This has been on my wish list for a while but it's also obviously from MAC but it's the Extra Dimension Blush and in Into the Pink. Do I need another pink blush? Absolutely not, but this one has been on my list for a while, and this color is kind of hard to find. So it looks like this. It's a pinky, glowy blush. That is it there. So it's just like a true bubblegum, pink, glowy blush. It kind of looks like a highlighter and a blush all at once, but I have never tried the Extra Dimension formula from MAC, but this color has been on my list for quite a while. And then last but not least is Sephora and the Sephora at Disney. It's in Disney Springs if you've ever been there before. This Sephora is a really nice one. It has a lot of brands that I don't personally have near me in my Sephoras, so I get really excited when I get to go there because I just feel like I get to see things I don't normally get to see. And this store had Westman Atelier, which I know you've heard me talk about over and over. I am the biggest Westman Atelier fan right now. I got another one of the blushes. So I have two of them already. I have Petal, which is the one I took with me on the trip. I have Popette, which is a really bright electric pink. And then I got uh, Chauchette. Chauchette, I think that's right. So this one is different than the two that I have. It's a little bit more peachy, but it's not orangey peachy. It's kind of hard to explain. It's more of like a neutral peach, which I really like. It has a little bit of pink in it, but not a ton. So that is Chauchette. Hopefully I'm saying that right, but that's it right there. Um, I just love this formula. I love the two that I have. Petal is my all-time favorite, but I wanted a little bit of a different color because both the two that I have are pink. So I wanted something a little bit different. So I got one of those. And then you guys are going to think I'm crazy for this probably, but I actually got the Face Trace contour stick in truffle. So I have the mini in biscuit, which I love. I use it all the time. But I was swatching truffle in the store and this one is definitely more warm. It's more bronzy, but something came over me and it came home with me. These are so blendable and just this formula is just so beautiful. It's so beautiful. So it's very warm though. So I'm going to have to see when I try it out on my face what I think about it. Um, but I really just wanted it to mix with Biscuit just to have a cooler tone and a warmer tone. So I did get that. All right, my lighting keeps going away. So sorry if the picture just got darker, but also from Westman Atelier, I got a squeaky clean lip balm. I have one of these already in the shade Mana, but I got the shade Choo Choo, um, and it's a really light pink. I love the one that I have of this in Nana. It's 
a lip balm, but a little bit of a gloss, a little bit of almost a lip oil consistency with a little bit of color. I love it. So they come in a little pouch, but this shade is just a really beautiful light pink. I got one of those. Honestly, if I had been in there longer, I probably would have come home with more Westman Atelier, but I was with my husband and I was trying to not stay in there forever because it's not that fun for him. But last two things, I got a lip liner from One Size. This is the Lip Snatcher Precision Lip Pencil in Out of Line. I have looked at these a few times in store, but I have not tried them. I would try this color looks like the kind of color that I like. It's a little bit nude, a little bit mauve -y. So it looks like that right there. And this feels like just a really good true wooden lip pencil, but I haven't tried this formula before. So I got one of those. And then last but not least, I wanted this during the Sephora sale and I didn't get it. I don't know why. Cause then I just ended up wanting it still and buying it now. But anyway, it's the Pat McGrath um, Satin Allure Lipstick in Nude Venus. I love anything she makes in the shade Nude Venus. I just think it is the prettiest nude color. Look at this lipstick, so cute. But this color, I feel like is gonna be really pretty with that lip liner. And also with that um, lip gloss from Watchman Atelier, but just a really beautiful nude. A little bit pink, a little bit nude, a little bit mauve all in one. And I don't have a Pat McGrath lipstick, so I did get that. And that is everything that I got. Um, so I hope this was fun. I know this is kind of a different video, but I figured it might be interesting for you to see what I took with me and share a little bit of a haul as well. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already. We will be back this week to normal uh, schedule with my videos. So thank you so much for your patience last week. And make sure to subscribe if you have not already. Follow me on Instagram at simply.blair and TikTok simply.blair1. And I will see you next time. Remember, simply be you. Bye.